Harry's wife. Was it a hit? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Picture the scene, if you will, the interior of Buckingham Palace. It's breakfast time. Queen Camilla looks up. Uh, what is it? Chuck, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted, if I may say so. Yeah, it's those two clowns overseas really vexing me at the moment. Oh, don't let them get to you, my darling. Now, overseas, what can they do? No, oh, they're a constant thorn in my side. Brings on a bilious attack, don't you know? No, I've had enough of the pair of them. I'm going to issue a hit against them. Ew, a hit. Okay, fair enough. This sounds intriguing. How are we going to go about it, then? Yeah. Well, I've been thinking. Um, what we first do is um, to put the willies up Harry, because this would be a great lork, would be to make it in a similar style to the way that uh, his harridan of a mother was expired. Oh, now you do have my interest. Keep going, Charles. Uh, so, yes. Mm. So what I was thinking was, um, I'll uh, spend a few shekels and find some ragtag of those paparazzi chaps. I won't do it personally, of course. I'll get somebody to organise it to the Chamberlain or something. Um, mm, yes. And, um, yeah, um... What I'll do is we'll just get a ragtag of them and we'll say to them, pursue them at high speed through Manhattan, which I understand they're going to be there in a um, few, um, few nights. Manhattan, have you thought this through, my dear? After all, traffic doesn't really move that quickly through Manhattan. How are you going to get a high-speed chase into a tunnel which then causes the car to crash and wipes out? Has beans and the winter. Well, I don't know. I'll just leave the detail to them to get on with it, you see. But I thought I'll arm one of them with a bike. A bike? What goodness? What good is a bike going to do in a high speed chase? But it's rather constrained, you know, after Mama's funeral. Rather, rather expensive. And the coronation put a bit of a strain on the old finances as well. We didn't pay for it. Ugh, feels like I have. Camilla, will you please do as I ask? Well, look, Charles, all I'm trying to point out is that if you're ordering a hit on Chinge and Whinge, it really ought to be done in a professional way. Damn it, woman, this is professional. We're going to have some ragtag paparazzi indulge in a high-speed chase through Manhattan. One on a bike. The others, I'm sure they'll get some car or something. And, um take some photographs and uh, there that'll ought to do it doesn't sound awfully effective to me chuck it sounds that there's the type of thing that isn't going to work Ugh, camilla you're just as bad as they are honestly you're bringing on a migraine and i'm sorry darling i'm just pointing out uh, the fact that your plan to order a hit on the gruesome twosome really doesn't seem like it's going to be effective. I really must point this out to you. Ugh. Well, if that's going to work, I don't know what is. I mean, after all, surely a few paparazzi chasing after them, crawling through traffic, and occasionally having a near miss with one of them on a bike is going to bring about their disincentivization, as Tudor calls it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to. Perhaps you ought to get on to Tudor and get him to organise it properly. You, you might be right about that. But are you sure, are you sure, my little pearl of wisdom, that sending a ragtag bunch of uh, paparazzi after them isn't going to have the desired outcome? Well, no, it isn't. Yeah. Pass me some Duchy of Cornwall cookies. I feel like a treat. And that's probably a fairly accurate summation of what went on in the conversation between Charles and Camilla. Now, why do I reenact that? Well, quite simply, because guess what? Yes, the Thickos were out in force suggesting that the car chase was actually a hit ordered 
by Buckingham Palace on the gruesome twosome. I'm going to pause now so you can have a good laugh. There you are. Feel better for that? Thought you would. Yes. The thick as mince sugars have been putting it about on social media that the car chase was actually a hit, that it was an attempt on the life of Prince Harry and Harry's wife. Given the fact that nobody crashed, nobody was injured, and certainly nobody died, I'm not really quite sure how you go from a slow speed crawl through Manhattan, shifting from a blacked-out windowed SUV into a yellow New York taxi cab, and eventually arriving at your destination, with the police apparently speaking to a couple of people, amounting to a hit. If somebody actually wanted to do them harm, and of course, nobody wants that to happen, then there are far more effective ways that it could be achieved than sending three or four paparazzi, some in cars and one on a bike, after them. But this is what happens when you deal with idiots. They're imbued with the same paranoia that Harry's wife has. You may have watched or had the misfortune to see the instance where they were pursued by the deadliest weapon known to man, a pizza guy on a moped. And that Harry and Harry's wife did their best meerkat impression at the back of the vehicle by swiveling their heads around left, right and centre to see who might be following them when there wasn't anybody following them. That they conjured up the appearance of being followed for the purpose of their shit flick series. He's paranoid as a consequence of what has happened to his mother and the fact that he has had run-ins with paparazzi before. He spoke about them, or rather wrote about them in spare. She is paranoid because of her narcissism. She believes that there are people out to get them, whereas most people don't wish any harm upon them and a lot of people simply aren't interested in them. And it's in the way that she thinks that there's hordes of paparazzi chasing her around and the paparazzi aren't interested. And has been repeatedly pointed out, the paparazzi isn't going to bother its backside to go chasing after them when they can get photographs of them arriving and leaving the event. They're not that important. They're not that interesting. And New York City's chock full of famous people and more interesting people than them. But of course, the paranoia that she has tells her that people are out to get her. She then bangs on about that, which feeds the paranoia of Harry and is a very useful way of controlling him. This is then picked up by the dwindling number of idiots that support these two and translates into their own conspiracy theories across the internet that this was a hit ordered by Buckingham Palace. And as you heard in what I explained, if this were a hit, it was, it was carried out by the worst hitmen in history. Because one, it didn't work, and two, why on earth would it? But this is just demonstrative again of how the behaviour of Harry's wife is picked up on by certain thickos who don't examine evidence and translate it into a load of nonsense. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>